Hi, my name is Chris Ladegard. When I was a kid, my favorite Christmas present was an electric football game. We played it for many hours as kids, but it always seemed such a random, confusing mess. Then, in 2014, as an adult, my interest was rekindled, and I got myself an all-new game with all-new game pieces. And I set about creating these new and improved methods and rules for gameplay. Some ideas I got from YouTube, but many of them were developed with the help of my friends and family to make the game more accurate to the real game of football. Plus, it's more fun and exciting than ever. Enjoy! Welcome to How to Make Electric Football Fun and Exciting. First, it's all about that base. There are four bases you want to be using during the course of the game. This strong, clear base with the flat front, with a little putty there to lower the center of gravity. This directional base with a spinning disc so you can control the direction it goes. A fast base with a round edge. And a base with the brushes cut off so that you can have one that is stationary and doesn't go anywhere. There are five types of players available to you during the game. You have the blocker slash defensive lineman, runner or cornerback, receiver or a safety, a quarterback or linebacker, and multi-purpose does about everything. They each have their advantages and disadvantages. When you purchase a team it comes with 11 players so I recommend buying two teams so you can have a full 22 player contingent so you can swap out and have special teams and have a lot more flexibility. Setting up for a basic play from the line of scrimmage offensive line you must always start with five of these blocker clear base type players on the line of scrimmage or within one yard of the line of scrimmage and that's to distinguish them as being ineligible receivers. You can face them at the start of the play in any direction if you want. You can even face them backwards but you can have no more than three facing backwards. They must line up between the numbers and no one can line up between them. Since you must have seven players on the line of scrimmage at the beginning of an offensive play, in addition to the five ineligible receivers or blockers, you can have two eligible receivers on the line of scrimmage to fill the seven quota. The other four can be roamers. One of them has to be a quarterback and has to take a snap between the hash marks. The other three can be a wide receiver, they can be a running back, they can be a tight end, they can pretty much go wherever. But you can only take a snap if you're between the hash marks. So he can take a direct snap here, but he couldn't take a direct snap if he was here. You can't line up anyone farther back than 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage. When setting up players, none of them can be touching each other. That's to prevent situations like this, an impenetrable wall. These quarterback slash linebacker pieces are very special in the sense that they are the only ones that can be swapped out during a play. I have four different types of bases. Flat, no moving, fast, directional, and strong. So you can pick any one of these guys to be your quarterback at the beginning of a play and during the play you can swap them out once with any one of these other quarterbacks. So he can be stationary for a while and then turn into a runner. Setting up defense. The defense can pretty much set up however they want to as long as they're not offsides. I like to have three or four guys rushing up the middle, maybe one or two directional guys coming in on off the edge, 
these guys, these cornerbacks can run alongside with the wide receivers. These safeties can come out, play a little zone. And here you have the specialty player, the linebacker, just like the quarterback. He can be swapped out once during a play. Right now he's the stationary guy, but he could become a runner or a defensive interceptor as well. After both teams are set up, the offense can call an audible, meaning he can move one guy and shift the quarterback. The defense can then respond by moving two guys as well. This completes the setup phase of the play. Next, we'll learn how to run the play. Thank <laughs> you.